the effort. Construction and development is booming in Boston, but diversity in the industry itself is not. Nationally, only 30% of construction professionals are Hispanic or Latino, and only 6.2% are black. In Boston, the numbers aren't much better, but there are efforts underway to change that. The landscape has changed a lot and still, you know, still changing for the, for the better. Justin Sheridan is the president of Mass Signal Service, LLC, a union electrical contractor. He's been in the business for 20 years, and his company is now being introduced to bigger contracts thanks to a program through Suffolk Construction. Getting on a job site, getting opportunity, um, it's just been a great experience uh, all the way around. Corey Allen is a compliance manager at Suffolk whose work is building relationships and recruiting subcontractors owned by women and people of color into valuable programs. You take them on a two-month journey where they learn how Suffolk does business, give them uh, industry insight. Allen also partners local tech vocational schools, finding and inspiring young talent like 19-year-old Etienne Martinez, a mechanical and plumbing apprentice at EM Duggan, who was able to get a full-time job right out of high school. My perspectives and hopes and dreams have been blown away constantly over every month, every week. In an industry with a major worker shortage, Allen, with the help of Suffolk Construction, makes it a priority to inspire and help build a workforce that is representative of the diversity in its neighborhoods. I'm lucky enough to be here and have been put in a position to be able to make those connections and be able to help support um, changing the narrative here in the city of Boston. Here at Suffolk, they are also constantly bringing in groups of students, kids, Girl Scouts, and other programs to really foster interest in construction and other STEM industries at a young age. In Boston, I'm Katie Thompson, WCBB News Center 5.